Just wait a moment. Okay, can you see the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, uh, this is the last work we have been done. Okay. Okay. Up to anyway, roof, right? Uh, yeah, up to roof. Okay. Okay, the continuation has been taken by Miss Sina. Is it? Yes, yes, yes. She did. Yeah. And so we can start the next portion. Okay. okay. The nice thing today we have been uh, going to take a look on is the creating families. Okay. okay. And the estimation schedule and quantities. Okay. We have been uh, taking the schedule quantities. Okay. 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 Uh, Okay, first of all, uh, we are going to create a family. Okay, I already to, uh, told you that in Revit, everything you have been uh, working on with is a family. Okay, the wall and the door is everything is just family. Okay, for that, I'm just coming to the uh, front portion. Okay, and in here, I can just select the families option here. I'm just okay. uh, creating a new family, clicking on the new. Okay, when you click on the new option, you can select the uh, family template, okay, which is the material that you have been uh, going to working on. Okay, and here you have the different type of uh, fixtures, okay, the door or data panel or electrical equipment or electrical fixture, okay, or the plumbing or planting, okay. I'm just uh, going to take uh, the door, okay. I'm just uh, going to create the basic door from here. <clears throat> okay, for that I'm just coming to the door family template and clicking open. Yeah, is it metric door? Yeah, yeah. metric. No, metric. Okay. metric door open. Did you get this like this? Wait a second, wait a second, it's loading. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we got. Uh... Okay. This is already. Sorry. Okay. Sir, we are uh, it to open the rivet. Could you please wait? Okay, sure. Vijay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, only one person is trying actually. Okay, uh, are you uh, recording the session? Yes, yes, I'm recording. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
sir. Open. 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 Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got okay. it. Yes, sir. And here you can see that this is the uh, this is an already created uh, door. Okay, it's not door. Uh, the door frame. Okay, you can see that this is the door frame here. Okay. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, in the VG, I'm just uh, removing this annotation. Okay. Okay, I'm just removing the annotation. So, where's the okay. annotation? From the VG, visibility graphics. Okay. Visibility graphics, okay. Short key VG. And here you have the mm -hmm. annotation categories here. Okay, okay, okay. One. Just click on the dimensions and tick that. And click okay. apply, okay. Okay, apply. Yeah, fine, yeah. Okay, is it hidden? Yeah, it's done, yes. Okay, here we have already the frame of a door. Okay, I'm just deleting this uh, frame. Okay, so that we can uh, simply create our own frame. Okay. I'm just one, one uh, second, selected one and second. deleted. Um. Sir, and the arrow mark, um, how do you get, sir? How... Arrow mark? Um, you just adjusted the uh, length, right? Uh, eight. What? Just now you adjusted some uh, height, right? Uh, in the door. No, I just haven't changed anything. Okay, I just deleted that, the frame. Ah, yeah, yeah. this okay, one. Uh, selected you... the frame. And you can see that there is a cutting here. This is the yeah, frame. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. Just selected ah. the frame and deleted that. Sir, how to rotate this uh, door? Yeah, shift. Rotate. Shift. Just press the shift key ah. and use the mouse roller okay oh, okay for rotating oh, okay 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 did you get it yes yes sir okay and i'm just coming to the interior portion of the door okay, okay. and i'm just selecting this uh, and deleted the interior frame okay okay deleted, uh, Yes, sir. Okay, and I'm just coming to the uh, right. Right, huh? Yeah, I just see. Is it left, sir? Left. Okay. Answer? Okay, you can select the left or right. Okay. Or left. Okay. Okay, and you can select the uh, create option here. Create. In the create tab, you can select the uh, sweep. Okay. Sweep, sweep blend. No, sweep. not sweep blend, just select okay. the sweep. Sweep, okay. Okay, and you can sketch the path. Okay, select the sketch path from here. Sketch path. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, and select the line and just come to draw here from the center. Okay. From the center. Okay. This point, from this point. Okay, that intersection. Huh? Yeah, that's okay. intersection. Okay. I'm just clicking from here and giving a dimension like uh, 70. Okay. 70. And clicking enter. Uh, 70, we need to enter or? Uh... Ah, you want to type that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then enter. And then I'm just giving a 50 to the downward. Okay. 50 downward. Huh? Ah, downward. Like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From here to here. Okay. Okay. Adding the 50 and clicking on the enter. It's been 50. And I'm just uh, taking a 30 from here. 
Okay, thirty or I'm just uh, taking a twenty. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, what do you want to take? Thirty or twenty, sir. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. It's up to you. Uh, you oh, can okay. select that. Okay. Thirty. I'm just giving thirty. Entering. Okay, and again, I'm just giving a twenty for here. Okay. So downward or? Downward, downward. Oh, okay. To the down, twenty. Okay. And to the left, you can just click on the intersection. So, sir, come again, sir. To the left. Wait. I'll just do that. To the left. Okay. Just clicking. Come on. Just wait. Just wait. Just giving thirty to the down lot. I got some. I got some minutes. Okay. To the left, like this, from the point to here. Just click on uh, the intersection point and join that. Okay. Okay. And again, uh, come to the first point that you have started. Okay. okay. And click here. You can see that there is a uh, line joined at here. Okay, the line has been ah, joined at yes, here. Sir. Okay, and click on the finish button. Okay. I can come into the. The finish button. Uh, once we select the tick button, we have to go to 3D view, right? Just wait. I'm just selecting the profile. Wait a moment. Yeah. Okay, can you see the finish button? Yeah, no, no. I once I click the finish button, it is like uh, you ask three. Yeah, it's not visible. Okay. There is some issue here. I can just uh, try it with the left view. Uh, sorry, the right view. Okay. I think there is some uh, issues with that. I'm just selecting the sweep again. Sketching the path from here to 70. Here. And then 20 to the left, giving it 30 to the right. Just created a path. Okay. And I'm just clicking finish. There is some issue here. Showing that it can't be create the sweep. Okay. No issues. Okay, I'm just deleting this too. To the left or right, I'm just creating. Okay. Just give me a second. I'll just try it out. Okay.
Hello. Hello. Are you there? Yes, sir. No, one second. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I think there is some issues my system. Uh, that's why it's been not showing. Okay, it's been continuously showing. There is some uh, error with the sketching. Okay. It didn't get what's that. Okay. I'll just again try it out, okay. Just give me a second. Are you doing something? Yeah, continue. I'm just uh, trying it out. I didn't get what the issue was. Okay, uh, just give me a second. So.
Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry for the delay. Okay. Uh, for creating that uh, cutting for the door. Okay. You just want to uh, come to the 3D view. Okay. 3D view or any of the view or the exterior or interior view. I'm just coming to the interior view. My shallow was the previous one. Um, path sketch. Okay. okay. For creating this path. Okay. First of all, you want to come to the interior view. Okay. And come to the create option and select the sweep. Okay. And sketch the path. First of all, you want to sketch the path where you wanted that uh, frame. Okay. One second, one second, Vishnu. Uh, first, we need to go to interior. Interior or 3D view. You can select what the view. Okay. Okay, interior, um, 3D view. Then what? Uh, just a moment. Sketch. Create and you can select a work plane. Okay, or come to the uh, sweep option. Okay. Sweep. Okay, sweep. Come to the sweep uh, option and you want to set the work plane. Okay. Okay. Sweep. Wherever the uh, frame that you wanted. Okay. <laughs> Selecting the work plane. I'm just clicking on the pick a plane option. Okay. Okay, I'm clicking okay. And I'm just selecting the this plane. Okay, this is I think this is the interior view. Okay. I'm just selecting this plane. Okay. Okay, that plane. Okay. Selecting this uh, area. And I just want to uh, draw the path. Okay. I'm just coming to the sketch path. Okay. Did you get it? Oh, wait a second. Once I click that plane, it is asking us to draw or something. Uh... Okay. Let's wait. Okay, like this. Is it? Okay, I'll just show you again. Okay. Wait. Plane. Quick. Come to the interior view. Okay. And coming to the create, selecting the sweep option. Okay. And here, I'm just se selecting the set work plane. Okay. And I'm just clicking on pick a plane. Okay. 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 Is it okay? And I'm just selecting this total plane. Okay. Yeah, total plane. You have selected and then it is asking some. Ah, like draw. Uh, like to draw. Okay. I'll draw, yeah. Just draw the path of the door that you wanted. Okay. I'm just uh, drawing the frame like this. I just wanted up to like uh, here. Okay. We don't want to the closed loop. Okay. We don't want the frame as a closed loop. Okay. Yeah, I'm drawing. I just wanted the uh, door frame like this up to here. I'm just drawing that. Okay. Draw the door opening here. Yeah. Okay, did you draw that? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And come here in the modify sweep option. Okay. Okay. Now we should select S yes or what? Enter. What? We should select enter. But once it you uh, done this uh, drawing. Okay. Just click on the uh, right button and click cancel. Yeah, okay. And then? And then you want to come to the modify sweep option. Modify okay. sweep, okay. The tab, just wait, I'll just do it again. Okay. And I'm just coming to the modify sweep. Okay. And? Select the sketch path option from here. Okay. Okay. Selecting the sketch path option. And I'm just sketching a path. The door okay. opening. Yeah, like here. Okay. We have been uh, sketched the path. And I'm just clicking the finish button. Okay. 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 And again, I'm just coming to the edit profile here. 
okay okay click on the edit profile and you want to come to any of this uh, reference planes okay uh, once a floor plan or a reflected ceiling plan you can select whatever the plan you wanted to select okay i'm just selecting the floor plan and i'm coming with the open view for one second one second it's not opening uh sketch is empty or something like that Did you get it? No, just for one second. I'll do it from the beginning. First, we need to sweep, uh, sketch, uh, set the plane, pick a plane. Okay. We need to pick the entire plane, right? Okay. Modify. After picking a plane, we need to sketch path, right? Yeah. Okay. So sketch path. So I've done the sketch part. So once I done that, um, next. Come to the modify sweep. Uh, modify sweep. And, and select the sketch path option. Okay. And draw that same path again. Okay. One second, one second. Sketch yeah, I'm mean, actually in the sketch path. Yeah, okay, sketch path and a profile, right? This one is just share my screen once again. Sweet. So after this, it is completed. Uh, this part. So actually, uh, sketch path is over. Then I have to select the tick button. This way. Let me show you. And then? I'll just show you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Just share your screen. OK. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sharing, actually. OK. Okay, did you uh, draw the path? Yeah, I've drawn the... Uh... Okay, and uh, come uh, select the... Come, uh, just click on the uh, select profile. Select profile. And come to the edit profile option here. Okay. Edit profile. And just select any of the floor plan views. Uh, you can select the floor plan, uh, level, or reflected ceiling plan. Just select floor plan. Okay. And open the view. Open the view. Okay, it's been in a view. Okay. Okay. And I'll just show you how, uh, what to do with the next. Okay. 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 Okay, I think you can see the screen. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm just came to the uh, this view. Okay, from here I'm just selecting uh, like oh. okay from here I'm just selecting the uh, 70. Okay. I'm just giving the 70 mm here. Is it right side or uh, left side? Uh, you can draw whatever the side. Okay, it's not an issue. Or you can draw it in the center also. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And, uh, and I'm just drawing a 50 to the right. Okay. I'm giving a 20 to the upward. And again, giving a 30 to the right. I'm just joining the others. 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Taking on the finish. Finish. Again, I'm finishing it. Oke. Okay. I'm just coming to the 3D view. You can see that this is the cutting frame. Oke. Okay. Wait. This is the door cutting frame. Where, where? Did you finish that? Yeah, finish. Uh, And come to the 3D view. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you say this cut? Uh, okay. In between there is a gap. That. that yeah. Is this is the uh, cutting of the door. Okay. 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 And this is the purpose of doing this. Okay. Uh, this is na na ma the. ஒரு <laughs> whatever in my mind okay yeah yeah we are doing on our own the dimension okay 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 actually you can define the dimension whatever the dimension you wanted that cutting you can do that okay okay i'm just drawn with uh, some uh, random numbers okay. if i if i um, extend the length i mean uh, horizontal length by 5 cm or 5 mm then the 5 mm will cut uh, that what you are trying to say right 5 mm yeah okay okay can you see that this is the thing that we have been created okay yeah and i'm um, just coming to the interior view okay mm -hmm. and uh, the next thing we have to uh, create the door okay the door panel fine uh, yeah okay for that i'm just coming to the create option and selecting the uh, extrusion okay create extrusion yeah extrusion and just uh, select the rectangular uh, option okay yeah and draw that inside area of the cutting okay okay and i'm just drawn that and just click on the finish okay finish and come to the 3d view you can see that this is the door okay okay so can um uh, for yeah. have you created that I created but uh, the width is so what of the width? and it's not joined okay yeah for yeah for that uh, come to any of the left view or right view left okay view or right view okay you can see this is the door okay yes yeah and i'm just joining this from here to here okay one second one second I just selected and drag that oh you need to join the adjacent line right yeah you need to join that okay drag and join to the okay frame. fine fine yeah okay. what about the width sir what okay is... also you can uh, select and drag the other end to this point okay okay and the door has been adjusted okay can you see that one second one second yeah oh, okay this is it okay. this is how you do the door right yeah this is how we create a door okay. okay what about the property material and everything okay we... just uh, see show you that and just select the door panel okay ah oh, yes and you can select the material from here okay. okay you can directly select the material from here or okay. you can just add a parameter okay If you add a parameter, you can just select in the uh, project also. Okay. If you just load this uh, this family into a project, if you add uh, it as a parameter, you can easily change it in the project. Okay. If you just given the material directly from here, you can edit that in the uh, project. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by parameter? What do you? Parameter is just a value. Okay. Okay. Like the uh, edit type options or instant options. Okay. Okay. These are some of the parameters. This is a parameter and the extrusion and this is a parameter. 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm just coming to the like create option. Okay, in the create, you have the uh, family category and parameters option. Okay, can you see that? Ah, uh, once again, once again, where where family, family category, and parameter. Okay. Okay, or you can uh, just directly select from uh, selecting the door. Okay, you can also select that from the select the door, and you will get in this uh, option from here. In the modify extrusion, you will also get in that options. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you get that? Select Family. the door. Select the door and come to the family and category parameter. Family category and parameter. The yeah. Yeah, it's open. Select the door. Okay. Okay. Again, selecting that. Okay. Okay. We don't do that. Yeah, I done. That. Okay, and again select the door, and here in the material uh, option, in the end you have a box here. It is the associate para uh, family parameter. Did you see that? Material option here. In the uh, right end, you have a small box. It's in the showing that the associated family parameter. One second, one second. Okay. Where, where? Here, select the door. Okay. First of all, select the door. Yeah, yeah. Associated family parameter. Yeah. Okay. Just click on that, and you will be getting a uh, box like this. Yes. Okay. And just you want to create a parameter named as material, okay? So that you uh, so that you can easily uh, modify that in the project, okay? For the for creating a parameter, you can select the new parameter option here, okay? Okay. Just click on the new parameter. Okay. You can add a family parameter or a shared parameter. Okay, I'm just selecting the shared parameter. Okay, and click on the select button. Okay, the shared parameter file uh, does not exist. Okay, clicking yes. Okay, and you will uh, getting a box like this. The edit shared parameter. Did you get it? No, no, I'm getting you not specified any shared parameter file. Okay, uh, just click on yes or. Uh, button. Did you get? Just select this uh, shared parameter and click on the select option. Yes. Uh, uh, once I do that, uh, you have not specified any shared parameter file. Do you want to choose one of the? Shall I do yes? Shall I? Yeah, you can click on the yes button. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is coming. A browse create. You get this. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm getting this. So okay. there, I have to specify any. You want to create a txt file? Okay. In the shared parameter, we have been creating a parameter and saving it into our uh, system. Okay. So that we can use that parameter in the next project too. Okay. If you are not creating a shared, uh, shared parameter, we are creating a family parameter. You can only use that in the current project. Okay, you can see uh, use that in the uh, next project that you have been taking. Okay, that is the difference between shared parameter and family parameter. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's why I'm just selected the shared parameter. If I'm just created a shared parameter, I just can use that in the next project too. Okay. Okay. For that, I'm just coming to the create option. Okay. I'm just selecting the desktop option. Desktop. I'm just creating that TXT file in the desktop. Okay. Um, but I didn't save any TXT file, right? Did I save anything? You want to save in a TXT file? Okay. You can see that the files of type is shared parameter files in the TXT format. 
Okay, okay. Now I'm saving, right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you want to save that in the TXT format. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, for that, I'm just giving a name like uh, material. Okay. Okay. I'm just given a name that material and clicking on the save button. Yes. Okay. So now I am just created a shared parameter file, and you want to keep, create the parameters. Okay. Yeah. For uh, adding a new parameter, uh, uh, you want to create a new group. Okay. Oh. If you create a new group, then only you will get the uh, creating a new parameter option. Okay. Okay. So that click on the new option in the group and enter a name. I'm just giving a name like Matt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Clicking OK. And here you can see that the parameter new option has been enabled. Okay. Mm, yes. I'm just clicking on the new and giving a name like uh, door panel. Okay. Door okay. panel. Met. Okay. Door panel material. I'm just giving as door panel met. Okay. And I'm just leaving the discipline as common and uh, the type of parameter I'm just changing it to uh, material. Okay. Okay. I'm just changing the type of parameter to material and clicking OK. Okay. Okay. And again clicking OK. okay. And again OK. So okay. that you have been selected the door panel met. You can see that this is the parameter data. Okay. 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 And again clicking OK. Okay. Again OK. So we have been created a uh, parameter as the material category. Okay. You can see that in the uh, properties here. The family categories. And... Okay. I'm just selecting. Okay. Uh, but... You can select the uh, door and come to the family types option here okay okay and you can see that there is the materials and finishes uh, option here we have been created the door panel material parameter okay, one here. parameter yes yeah okay okay we have been added the parameter and you can change the material from here at any time in any project okay Okay. And the this material parameter has been disabled. Okay, here you can see that this has been disabled. You can't click on edit that. Okay. Yeah. Do you get it? it? Yeah, it's disabled. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. And I'm just coming here and selecting the door panel material. Okay. And changing the material type. Okay. I just created a new material and uh, how do you create that new material uh, by clicking like clicking here oh yeah okay okay fine create a new the material. creates a duplicate materials okay oh, create a new material and coming to the asset browser okay okay and that we can find the parents library and you can change the material. Okay, I'm just clicking on the wood material. Good. Okay. Again, okay, I'm just changing uh, this. I'm just taking this cherry material. Okay, cherry two, and apply. Okay, apply. Okay. You can see that. Our door material has been changed. Okay, this is our door. Oh, one second. And one you second. can also change the frame material too. One second. Just one second. Yeah, I've created.
okay mm. and you can also change the door uh, frame material also okay the same setting uh, same for steps okay Select that uh, outer frame then. yes the outer frame okay okay select the associated parameter and come to the new option okay and select the shared parameter select it and here you have the edit option here okay okay i'm just clicking on edit uh, very first option is uh, we should select what once we selected that we need to go to just select here select parameter uh, the shared parameter and select option Did you get okay. in the associated family parameter uh, tab? You want to select the new parameter option. Okay. Uh, just know that left side uh, panel is not visible to me. Uh, do I get that? This panel, uh, the this properties panel. panel. Uh, properties panel. Just click the P P on the short key, on the keyboard. P okay. Double P. Ah, yeah, what came? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And uh, select the panel, the frame, and come to the associated family parameter. Yeah, fine. And then we need to create a uh, new parameter. Yeah, new parameter. And Before we need to panel. name, give the name, a uh, shared parameter. No, no. We want to select the shared parameter. Select. Click on select. And okay. here you have the edit option. Okay. Edit option. Just click on the edit. And okay. you can cl create a and, new material uh, under the. We can also create a new shared parameter, right? Again, we can select. No, you, you don't want to create any new shared parameter file. OK, we have been already created a parameter like uh, material. OK, you yeah, can we... add a new parameter under the material category. Oh. OK, the frame uh, frame material. You can give the name as frame material. OK, I'm just oh, clicking the new. In the one particular group, we can create many parameters. That many so parameters. Okay, okay. That, the same category okay like yeah. material yeah okay just creating new and giving the name like uh frame material frame material okay and changing the type parameter to material okay okay one second Material, okay. Uh, what about other parameters? Uh, length, texture, and everything. You can change the type of parameter to material, okay, because we have been working with the material option. Okay. And what, okay. I mean, uh, other options is it? Uh, if it, uh, you are uh, creating a parameter that you have been changing with the length, you can select the length, okay. okay. It's been changing with the area, connected with the area, you can select the area parameter okay yeah okay and now we have been uh, working with the material parameter so i'm just selecting the material option okay okay fine i'm just clicking okay and again okay and here you want to select the frame material okay yeah frame material and click okay yes. so that you can uh, see the name the parameter name as frame mat here okay can you see that yeah 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 okay and just click on okay again okay okay so i've been created another uh, material panel okay just come to the family types and you can see that there is the frame material parameter here you can yes. change the material from here. Okay, I'm creating a new material and giving. I'm just selecting this material, clicking OK, 
Okay. Okay. You can see that we have been changed the frame material too. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? Okay. 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 And then we can uh, load this family. We have been created the family, and we can load the family to the project. Okay. And you can uh, place it in the top. Okay. I'm just selecting the door, and this is the family that we have been created. Okay. Family one. I'm just creating a family here. Okay. I'm coming to the 3D view. Sorry, this is not this 3D. This 3D. You can see that this is the door that you have been created. Okay. And I have been placed that. Okay. Okay. How do you paste that? Uh, can you please? Just select the uh, the top. Okay. Actually, I don't have that plan. Uh, how do? Did you finish that? Uh, the this family drawing. Okay. And uh, this one I completed. Load into project. Load into project option. Load into project. Okay. Okay. Did you load any project? Uh, no open projects to load family into something like that. It's coming. Okay. Just, just share your screen. Okay, load into project. Click on the load into project. Okay, uh, just come to the uh, R button here. The left top. And click on the next option. Okay. Not that, that. Okay. And open any of this project. Okay. Uh, recently done project or? Uh, Not that. Uh, you can select the sample architecture project here. This one, huh? Ah, you can select that. Okay. Okay and select any of the pro floor plan views just select the level two okay and just zoom in and come to the uh, this 3d view okay the family parameter view family parameter no, view. we are the current working family okay we have been creating a family come to that family view okay and click on the load into project and it's been loading. Okay, and place that door anywhere in the walls. Okay. How do I do that? Anywhere? Huh? Anywhere? In the walls. You can select only in the walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walls. Yeah. So I click here. No. Okay, just click on that. There we have been added the door. Okay, and just come to the 3D view. And look for the window that we have been added here or the back side. You can see wherever that we have been added. Oh, even now we can add, huh? Yeah. This is the door that we have been created. Okay. Okay. Haven't you changed that uh, material? No, no, I've changed. Uh, why you don't? Okay, this is the door. Not there. In the right, you have been added that. Okay. Done it right. Uh... Okay, we need to select this particular door, or we should select the whole panel or uh, wall. You can totally select that. Okay, just click on the floor. Uh... Okay, yeah, just come to the 3D view. Okay, just come to the 3D view. Okay, and select the graphics option in the downwards and change that to realistic. Click on the realistic option. Thank you. 
and check that dog to your pin handle. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you see? Yeah. That's the dog we have been created. Okay. Okay. This is the family creation. Okay. Okay, yeah, this. And I'll just share my screen. Okay. Can you see? Okay, and the next we have been going to Okay, and we have been created the family and the next is uh, we can select the uh, schedules or quantities, okay, the estimation of the project, okay. Okay. Okay, for that I'm just coming to the analyze tab or you can select the view tab, okay. In the view tab you have the schedules option here, okay. One second. The view tab. Mm. Schedule option in the create create panel. Create. Schedules. Mm -hmm. The create tab under create tab. Uh, Above the create tab, here, like this, you have the schedule. Okay. Did you get it? We should go to architecture that project, or uh, we need to go to a door. Uh... Not the door family, just come to the architecture project. Okay. okay. We have been taking the uh, quantities of the architecture project. Okay. Not the door. Okay. One second, one second, one second. It's loading. Uh, schedule, schedule, okay. Okay, select the schedule and you have the schedule for quantity of them. Okay. Yeah. Select that. And you can select the whatever quantity you wanted to take. Okay. What is the material type you wanted to uh, take? I just select the walls. Okay. I can just select the walls. Okay. Uh, we need to select schedule bar quantities first option right yeah schedule bar quantities okay well, after that uh, you need to select, select any, any of the uh, material you wanted to take off okay okay like the schedule okay fine uh, yeah just select the walls and uh, the wall schedule name is okay if you want to change the name you can change that okay walls Okay, fine. Yeah. Just click on the OK button. Okay. We'll get the scheduled properties uh, panel here. Okay. And here you can add the fields that wanted in your uh, schedule. Okay. okay. In your report, it's a report. Okay. What are the parameters that you wanted in your report? Okay. From here, I'm just selecting the family and type. I want to know the family and type of the walls. Okay. So that I'm just selecting the family and type. And also I wanted to know the length of the walls. Okay. I'm just selecting the length and uh, we can add the area or anything okay you can just selecting the type also okay that's i have been added three fields okay three parameters 
Let's click on the OK. Okay, this is the schedule that you have been created. Okay, it's been the brick wall to 30 mm and its length is 7000 mm. Okay, and the family and type is basic wall. Okay, basic wall, brick wall, 30. Okay. Okay, this is the schedule. And here you have the sorting or grouping option. Okay, the properties for that. Just click on the edit button. Okay. Uh, one second. Where, where, where? In the properties palette, the left side box. Okay, you have the sorting or grouping option. Yeah, okay. Sorting and grouping. Just click on the edit. And you can just sort out the materials by your whatever the uh, key component. Okay. I'm just changing it uh, with the length or type. Okay, I'm just changing it with the type. Okay. I'm just uh, in the ascending order, I'm just changing with the type. Okay. I'm just clicking okay. It's been sorted to the material okay. type. Okay. One second. And again, coming to the sorting or grouping. Uh, after clicking that uh, sorting and grouping, the window is opening, one window. Uh, there, uh, under okay. squatting and grouping, uh, we need to sort. Yeah, the sort by option. Ah, okay, sort by okay. option. You can under sort the, uh, uh, length okay. or type or uh, family and type or anything. Okay, you can select whatever the material uh, sorting type. Okay, I'm just okay. sorting it with the type option, and I'm just giving a header and footer. Okay, I'm just tick the two of them and changing it to count and totals okay okay and clicking okay now you can see that it's been sorted with the uh, header of the family type okay it's been brick wall type and the total count is 12 okay okay and the pcc wall is a uh, total 17 and the print wall is total 17 and rrm wall is total 17 okay <laughs> And I'm again coming to the sorting or grouping option. Okay. Yeah. And I'm clicking the uh, grand totals. Ticking the grand totals. Okay. Yeah. And changing it to uh, count and totals. Okay. okay. Clicking okay. And you can see the total number of materials. It's been 63 materials. Okay. One second, one second. Uh, just to, once we do the previous step, we need to do any control Z undo button or we should continue with that. Uh... You can just uh, con press the control Z for previous step. Okay. 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 I will do that actually. Wait. Just clicking the grand total and selecting the count and totals. One second, one second, one second. Okay, this grand total, count and total. Okay, and I'm just unticking this itemize every instance option. Okay. Itemize every instance, you are going to uh, untick. untick that. Ah, okay. And clicking OK, you can see that there will be showing uh, one type, okay, one material of each type. Okay, this is the. So why do we need to do this actually? Uh, because uh, shortlisting no. it. Okay. Okay. You can just easily shortlist. Uh, other than if you are uh, taking the quantity of a huge building, okay, it will be a lot of uh, materials. Okay. If you show everything in the instance, it will be a long schedule. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, we can't just uh, simply. Update it into a sheet, okay. And we can export that schedule, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay for that, I'm just uh, click, I'm taking the ICMS every uh, instance so that I'm just uh, only there will be showing the material type, uh, a single material type and the total number, okay. You can easily see that in the brick wall 230 mm, we have the 12 total numbers, okay. And the PCC wall, 
you have 17 numbers and the print ball you have 17 and the RRM ball you have 17 and the total is 63 and here the length is said to be varies okay because in the same brick ball material you have the different uh, length of balls okay Okay. That's why it's been changed to various. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and uh, that's it. Uh, we have been creating a schedule. If you want to create a schedule of another uh, material or anything, you can come to the schedules or schedule bar quantity. Okay. And you can select whatever the uh, material you wanted. Okay. Here I can select the cut time balls or, uh, or the doors okay for the furnitures how okay. do you edit that uh, how to edit that edit schedule edit okay, you can edit that okay once you click created uh with yeah. the materials that you have been used in the project okay 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 it can be edited okay fine fine okay Okay. If you want uh, other material category, you can uh, select the schedule bar quantities again. Okay. Okay. One second, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if you want to uh, calculate the cost, okay, the total cost of the uh, wall creation, okay, wall material. Okay. You can come to the view tab in the schedule bar. Uh, sorry, in the schedules, you have the material takeoff option here. Okay, okay. Okay. And I can select the material here. And before that, you want to create a shared parameter. Okay. Okay, okay. For that, I'm coming to the manage tab. And in the manage tab, you have the shared parameter option here. Okay. Shared parameter. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm just uh, clicking on the shared parameter. And again, I'm just creating a shared parameter. Okay. Okay. Is it fine? Yeah, yeah. I'm creating. Okay. New parameter and giving the uh, document file name as unit cost okay unit cost is it okay yeah 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 okay okay i'm just saving it and creating a new group as the same value or i'm just giving it to post okay or oh, i'm just giving the name unit cost Okay, I'm just created a parameter group as units cost. Okay. One second. Uh, once I created that, then we need to create a group, correct? Yeah. And group name is same. Just giving it a unit cost. Okay. And creating a new parameter. Uh, okay, new parameter. The name? the name as same unit cost. Okay. Okay. And discipline I'm leaving common. the discipline common. as common and changing the type of parameter to currency. Cost. Okay. Cost. Because we have been uh, working with the cost. Okay. Okay. And there, there is an option like a cost per area. Not that. I'm just giving it to currency. Okay. Okay. Because we have been not. Uh, working with the area okay we are only taking the material takeoff not the area okay so that i'm just selecting the material and clicking okay okay again okay okay so now we have been created a shared parameter okay okay and i'm just coming to the project parameter Clicking on the add option. Okay. Now shared parameter. Huh? No, just select the project parameter. 
Yeah, yeah. After selecting add. Add. Yeah, okay. You want to select the shared parameter from here. Yeah, shared parameter. Okay. Select. select. Select the unit cost. Unit cost. Okay. 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 So now we have been selected the unit cost. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you can change the uh, type parameter uh, to just like a. Like we have been. Okay, you can select that as the materials and finish is okay. There is no other similar to that. Okay, I'm just selecting it to materials and finishes. Okay. Is it okay? One second. Materials or I can add it to. Okay, uh, I can select the materials and finishes or I can add to other. Okay, I can select the others option. Okay. Okay, others. Just selecting to others. Okay. Okay, after selecting others, and, what? And you want to select the categories. Okay. You want to select the categories that uh, you want to use the unit cost parameter. Okay. I want to use that in the walls. Okay. So that I'm just clicking on the walls option. Okay. Okay, is it okay? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, shall I click okay? Yeah, you can click on the okay button. Okay. And again, okay. Okay, now we have been created the parameter. Okay, and okay. come to the view tab, select the schedules, and select the material takeoff. Material takeoff. And here, we select the walls, right? You want to uh, select the walls, okay? Um, Wall material takeoff. Walls material takeoff, okay. Okay, click on OK. And then we need to select the you parameter. Want to add the parameters. Uh, unit cost is a parameter, right? Unit okay, cost. You can add ah. the, uh, not that only. Uh, you can select the name, okay? Name or something name, like that. Okay. So whatever we need to display, that is what. Ah, yeah, that's ah, it. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm just adding the Name family. Okay, I'm just adding the family. Family. And, okay. Uh, I'm just adding a length. Ah, length. And uh, I'm just adding the unit cost. One second. One second. One second. Unit cost. And adding the type. Fine. Uh, uh, you, the name you said, right? Uh, where it is name? There is no name. Okay. Uh, yeah, there is no because name. Don't have no. name in the option. You have the material okay. name here. Material name, yeah, material name. Just uh, not adding that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Uh, we have been added the four parameters. Okay. And now we want to create a new. Uh, calculated parameter like total cost okay we have been created unit cost but we want the total cost okay okay for that i'm just coming to the add calculated parameter option here where sir where sir the uh, like a symbol of fx okay ah uh, yeah yeah fx okay that's it. add ca calculated parameter Fine, I'm yeah. Selecting that and giving the name of total cost. Total cost. Okay. okay. And changing the type to uh, like currency. Okay, formula. And we want the form, uh, there is only length. Of it. I can't be. There should be showing the unit cost also. It is showing for me actually the unit cost and then that. Okay, and uh, after changing it to currency, you can yeah. add the formula as unit cost by length. Oh, okay, sorry, okay. unit cost, cost. into length. Uh, I have to insert the symbol, right? Like, uh, you, you can click on the unit cost. I, okay. I have clicked that. actually, I have done then that. After that. Okay. Now I should click OK. 
Not that. Uh, you just only add it uh, in the formula, just unit cost only. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to and press uh, click the star, star button. Star button. Okay. I have confusion whether the keyboard. Okay. Star button. There is a star. Again, length. You want to add the length. Length. Okay. okay. Then click okay. Here and select the length. Okay. Not okay. If you click okay, uh, it will be showing some errors. Then what? Uh, Okay. Is, is it showing the error? See, uh, whether I should click OK or not. Just click on the OK button. Inconsistent units. OK, that's uh, because we have been uh, uh, multiplying the units of currency with the length. OK. Yeah. We should the multiply with the area, right? Uh, not that. You can uh, simply divide that uh, whole equation by one. Okay. Why, After why? the length formula, you can just add a. Uh, okay, in order to uh, that neglect that length option. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Neglect that currency uh, neglect uh, length material. Okay. Length fine, unit. Fine. So I have to yes. uh, press that uh, divide option. Divide option. Divide option and one. And add the one. Okay, just click on okay. Okay. Ah, now it is okay. Okay, and just uh, click on okay again. And you will be getting the material takeoff schedule. Um, it's asking like material takeoff must include at least one material. If you intend to count elements rather than materials, create an ordinary schedule instead. Instead, uh, it's showing like this. Can you just uh, share your screen? One second. Showing like this. Just close it. Okay. And click on OK. Okay. Uh, okay, just close it and add a add parameter like a material name or something. Material name. Okay. Add that and click on OK. Yeah. Okay. OK. This is it. We have been uh, created the okay. cost. OK. And, and add the, click on the unit cost option in the under the and add some uh, value and add a value. Any value? OK. Like uh, 10 or 15. OK. You can see that the total cost has been calculated for the total length. Oh, if I in, give yeah. an input, uh, like yeah. how much rupees for that particular for one, wall? One okay. okay. We have been added for one length of uh, the basic wall. We have been uh, added the unit cost like 10 rupees. So it's been multiplied and the total cost will be like uh, 6,000, sorry, 62,020 okay. rupees. Okay. Okay. That's the material takeoff. You can... Uh, Given the unit cost, and you can calculate the oh, total cost from here directly. Uh, just no one doubt actually. Uh, if I click and uh, enter for one value, one particular parameter, why it is multiplying for other five uh, wall? Because it's all in the same material. Okay. And but material name is different, right? Uh, one material is finishes and interior something different. Yeah, different that's material. not the uh, the material type is same. It's been the SIP two not two mm wall. Okay. Oh, okay. For the same type, it will be like the same uh, cost for creating one unit. For example, if I okay. for same type, if I want to enter two different uh, value, then in that case, what will I do? It's not possible for uh, adding two different oh, okay. for a Just single a type. Actually, uh, okay. never mind. Uh, okay. It's been calculating with the common technique like uh, for same material, it will be the same uh, unit cost for creating. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If it's in a different uh, material, it will be different. Okay. And also the length is the uh, same. Okay. The lengths are the same. That's why you've been, the total cost will be the same. If you add the uh, unit cost for this uh, timber clad bar, you will getting a uh, different type of values. Okay. Just uh, select the unit cost and add some uh, amount like 15 or 20. Okay, uh, it's been the different values. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not different. And add here. 
in the top you can add the in the top 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 where where you can add here the wall timber flat unit cost ah okay just change it okay and again you can change the number okay you can add the value okay that's it we can add the calculated parameter from here again we need to group or sort we can do it here you right? can do that okay family or whatever we need to do uh, usually we can do for uh, unit cost right cost yeah sir we can do that put there count and total and uh, okay this antic that itemize uh, every instance so that okay itemize every instance oh this is a total right total? yeah total cost ah okay one lakh fifty thousand this material yeah and what about this twenty four it means what uh, um the cost the of number. one unit no uh, the number it's been the count okay oh number of materials uh, yeah it's been oh. the uh, like uh, five numbers or 20 numbers five numbers of the basic wall with the yeah. wall timber clad okay 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 and 91 uh, type of basic wall okay Fine. that's yeah. it okay so I'll stop sharing. Okay. 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 And here uh, you can also uh, take the material quantities of the uh, walls. Uh, sorry, or doors, windows, anything. Okay. If you have a specific unit cost, you can uh, take off the materials. Okay. So that you can uh, calculate the total. cost okay okay and uh, also you can uh, take off the schedule quantities like just no one one more doubt uh, if i want to print that uh, material take off uh, how to get that the material take off you have to save that thing will be come uh, in the schedules or reports option okay if it's come with the schedules you can just easily add it to the sheet okay you can easily add it to the sheet okay okay and you can uh, export the sheet okay how uh, to do that how to do that uh, so that uh, okay just coming to the sheet view and just select the sheet okay select the sheet and uh, you can come to the files Okay. Okay. File, yeah, 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 file. File. You have the export option. Click on the export option. Okay. And create PDF files. Okay. No, no. Uh, I'm not asking to print this file. Actually, I want to uh, extract only that uh, material take off and the schedule. you can only take that material take off by adding it to the sheet okay otherwise you can't uh, select that you can take okay. off that. okay 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 you can, okay. You can only uh, take off the reports directly from here uh, up to the like um, excel file okay like that okay okay you can only directly select the reports okay Okay. 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 Report or schedules. Okay. You can select the schedule bar quantities. You can only take off the schedule bar quantities out of this project by adding it to a uh, a sheet. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fine. Understood. You can take off the uh, reports by directly selecting the report and coming to the file and export. Here you have the. reports option you can select the report okay and you can export it to any uh, like excel file or something like that um, is it okay um report where do you choose that option report uh... here we have been i have not created any report so that i don't okay okay okay, okay 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 
Oh, okay. Yes, fine. And uh, okay, and also you can add these uh, views into sheet. Okay, for that I'm just coming to the uh, project browser. Here you have the sheets option. Okay, and just select the sheets, click the right button. And you have the new sheet option. Okay. One second. Can you repeat? Uh, uh, Just come to the project browser. Click on the sheets. Okay, sheets. And right click there. Okay. Okay, right click. And you will get the new sheet option. Yeah, new sheet. Click the new sheet. And select this title block A1 metric standard. Okay. okay. It's been a title log. It's been the sheet uh, demo that created by Autodesk. Okay. If okay. your uh, company or school has uh, your own sheet, you can load it. Okay. Like uh, we are loading the families. Okay. Okay. And you can add any of these views to the sheet by just simply click and drag. Okay. I can add the 3D view by just simply click and drag this to the sheet. Okay. Just to just we can click and we can drag, right? Yeah, we can just click and drag. Okay, understood. You can add yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. View and we have been added the floor plan view. Okay. okay, okay, okay. It's quite easy. Yeah, it's quite easy. So that you can simply export these views. Okay, up to okay. a uh, pro, uh, sheet. Okay. Mm, okay. How to adjust that? Uh, how do you adjust? You can uh, scale that. Okay. By selecting the view, you have the view scale option. And you can just scale that. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. 15. It's been scaled. Okay. Okay. One second. Fine. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, and also you can adjust the uh, line length by clicking on this view and you will getting the two points in the line. Okay. And you can simply click and drag that point so the length of the line must be changed. Okay. Here you have the 3D view line like this and I'm just selecting the view and changing it to here. Okay. Is it fine? Okay, one second, one second. Mm. No, I didn't follow that uh, line option alone. Okay. Do you add the view? And you will be uh, getting this uh, view name and scale here. One second. Uh, I couldn't be able to drag that view. Just, uh, just select the uh, uh, plane. Okay, just select the plan, and you will getting these two points with the view. No, no, I, I couldn't be able to. Uh, insert that floor plan. Uh, it's showing some. Just show your screen. View is already placed on the sheet plan. Just uh, show your screen. Okay, click on the close button. Okay, just select the plan. Just select this plan, this view in the sheet. Okay, okay. click on that, and you will get in these two points. Yeah, okay. I'm getting these two points. Just click and drag that point. Okay. You can adjust the length of the line. Okay. Why do we need to do that? Uh, you can adjust that line. Okay. 
It's because uh, we have been adding two or more views in one sheet. Okay. So okay. Uh, you can uh, just simply know the sheet name. Okay. The view name. It's been a 3D view. If you add the uh, plan view, if you are adding the, uh, if you are creating a four uh, floor plan. Okay. Okay. Four story building. You are creating a four story building. You will be uh, creating four uh, floor plans. Okay. And if yeah. you are adding the same four uh, floor plans in the single sheet, it will be confusing for which is the uh, plan of second floor or third floor. Okay. So that you can see the uh, floor plan name here. Just zoom in there to the right end. You can see that the name as sorry the to the left end. Sorry, sorry. Left end. You can see the name as 3D view. Okay, this is the oh, 3D view. Okay, okay. And, and above this thing, uh, we have 3D view. That's why it is yeah. showing 3D. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. If I drag some floor plan, it will show four floor plan. Floor plan. Or level the one. view, the level name. Okay. Whatever the level name, it will be showing there. Okay, we have been created the uh, uh, PCC level and uh, the pulse floor level and plinth level. Okay. Okay. It will be showing the levels name. Yeah. Okay. Just click on uh, click on the line. Uh, yeah, click yeah. On the line, and you can drag that line along. Okay. Just uh, just click on the uh, view, uh, the screen. Screen. Okay, and just uh, only select the line. Just click the line only, and just drag that. You can adjust the line and name okay. wherever you want it. Okay. okay. If you are just selecting this plan view, this 3D view, and just dragging this line, it will be uh, dragging with the view also. Okay. 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 So if we can add to, uh, any number of views under this uh, line. That is what you are yeah. trying to say. Yeah, you can add uh, like you know, four plan, four or five floor plan in the single view. You want to adjust the scale for that. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. Can I push? Okay, and I'm just added these two uh, views to the sheet. Okay, and after that, I'm just coming to the file. Okay, and clicking on the export option. And clicking the PDF. Okay. Come to the files and export. Yeah, the PDF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PDF. Okay. And uh, it's been uh, set as the current window. Okay, if you are, uh, if you have two or more sheets, okay. Okay. And, uh, you can select those uh, sheets that wanted to be a PDF. Okay. Okay. For the, here, you are the select views or sheets option. Yeah. And there, you can uh, see the pencil option. Okay, pencil symbol. You can click there. And here you have the option, whichever views that you wanted to see. Okay. I'm just only selected the sheets and there is the two sheets. There is two sheets I have been added. Okay. I'm just selected the two sheets. Okay. Second. Um, in the file and uh, location or what? Um, which option is this? Um, you can after select the selected views or sheets. Yeah, after that. Click on the pencil. Ah, pencil button. Okay, okay, okay. And under that, you have the filter option. Filter. It's been the multiple. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. And just change and click click there. And you will be getting three options here. Sheet, 3D okay. view, and 2D views. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting. Just untick the 2D, 3D. Only select the sheets. Yes, okay. And here I have two sheets, okay. Mm, yes. I'm just selecting the two sheets and click on the select.
Is it okay? Oh, one second, one second. Ah, okay. Do um, we need to select that export now? Just uh, give a file name here. You can give the file name and you can choose the location where you wanted to export uh, these sheets as a PDF. I'm just selecting it to, uh, to desktop. Okay. And open. I'm just selected the location and selected the uh, option to zoom fit to page. Okay. Yes. And I'm just taking this uh, height probe boundaries, uh, height scope box. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And after that, I'm just clicking on the export option. And you can also change the quality of the image. Okay. Yeah. yeah just change yeah. it to uh, high quality and colors to the uh, colors. Okay. And clicking on export. The uh, sheets have been exporting as the PDF. Okay. It's loading, wait. Uh, it's loading for me. Yeah. something like a warning is giving uh... ah that's not a problem okay just close that warning okay and uh, i'm just coming to the desktop here i have the pdf exported okay i'm just opening it you can see that these are the two sheets we have been added and it's been exported like a pdf yeah, okay 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 Fine, fine. Nice, actually. Uh, okay. And, uh, okay. Um, and these for, pages are very standard sizes, huh? Uh, one. Yeah. It's been like the or, uh, A1 or A2 size. Okay. Okay. And uh, the plan should be exported in the A1 or A2 sheets. Okay. okay. Okay, is there any confusions? So far, no, but we uh, need to explore some options. Uh, the only then we can uh, say that. One second. Mm. Okay, today we done uh, doors. Uh, we created a door, right? Yeah. After that, we, we done... created a family and uh, we have been created. Uh, Created the uh, material takeoff and schedules. Schedules okay. to take off. We have been uh, taken the exporting of the views. Okay. Creating okay. sheets and exporting of the views. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, I think that's it uh, for the day. And the next class will be like, uh, what is the date you have been said? Like the next uh, Thursday. Is it? Uh, next to Tuesday, huh? Is it uh, Saturday, right? Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yeah, okay, I didn't get the current schedule, and uh, I think there will be someone will be taking the class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Another will be taking the class. 
but uh, but planned session is up to four o'clock, right? Today, um, that plan for Vishnu. Just know, are you there? Hello? Yeah, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm there. Uh, okay, uh, we have been uh, taking the class so fast. That's why we finished. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And, uh, you can just try to uh, do this again uh, here. I'll just wait for you. Just try to uh, do it in any of these schedules or something. Okay. Once again. Just one question, a doubt. Uh, previous okay. thing, like uh, we are doing ground floor, right? Uh, yeah. Level creation. After doing the level creation, we are um, uh, creating uh, a roof. After that, uh, we are selecting some uh, floor plan, right? Uh, roof top, roof bottom, plinth top, uh, yeah. lintel top, lintel bottom. Uh, what is the flow of work actually? I don't know. Uh, which one to select? That is a confusion I have. Yesterday, okay. uh, if you are just uh, creating the ground floor, which one I have to go? Whether uh, lintel top or lintel bottom or rooftop or roof bottom? Which one? Just like go? after you completed this foundation work, where you want to go? Okay, is it? Uh, once I completed the ground floor, then what? Uh, then just go to the plinth top. Okay, the normal wall was been starting from the plinth top. Okay, okay. up to the roof bottom. And from the roof bottom to roof top, it's been the roof area. Okay. Okay. That's the roof uh, width. And above that, if you want to create the uh, first floor, okay, you want to create another uh, story, you can just uh, come into the top. Uh, second one. Second. Okay. I'm just deleting this uh, floor. Actually, yesterday so I have uh, uh, saved the file actually open. Mm. Once again, mm. once again, once again. One second, uh, just to... Okay. Uh, yesterday we done something with trying to find that file. Uh... Oh, where it is? Wait, 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 wait.
Hello. Yeah, I'm uploading the material, uh, the template, uh, but it's getting upgraded. Uh. One second. Okay. okay. I'll share my screen now. Okay, I can see that. Okay. Okay. Pardon. No, I didn't get that. What's it? Uh, once I done this, uh, after okay. this, uh, what I should do? I go for. Um, you can just uh, simply create a roof and you can finish that if you want uh, another level okay yeah and another, another level floor. yeah you want another floor uh, for that i'll just show you just uh, i'll just share my screen and show you okay okay can you see that okay yeah after up to this okay Okay. I'm just taking the roof bottom from here. Okay. okay. And after that, uh, in the virtual tab, I'm just selecting the roofing option. Okay. I'm just selecting roof by footprint. Okay. One second, one second. No, no. Uh, I'm not asking to finish that uh, with the roof. It's not finishing. Okay. Uh, you want to create want to the floor. another floor actually. Okay. For that, you want to add a slab here. Okay, you want to uh, create yeah. a roof. After above the roof, uh, you can only create the walls again. Okay. If there is uh, no. Whether roof, I should select the roof the... bottom, right? Roof bottom or rooftop? You can select the roof bottom. Okay. Okay, roof bottom. And select the architectural tab and select roof by footprint. Okay. Did you get one second? Oh, it's not visible for me. Can you share your screen? Architecture. Tap and select the roof by floor pin no, option. Wouldn't able to select the sound. Okay, can you just uh, share your screen? Once I 
the gone this gone to this and uh, i'm clicking the first floor roof bottom uh, just select any of this uh, elevation just click on any elevation elevation now yeah in the down you know what okay here. just select any of that okay, okay. just zoom in okay okay you don't want to select the uh, you want to select this level before below the rt okay what's the level below the rt it's been rb okay the roof okay. bottom okay 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 for that you jump to select the roof bottom level from the project browser the rb okay just double click the rb this one rb rb okay okay it's been the uh no no it's there actually i don't know why it is gone uh, suddenly okay just uh, select the uh, range base here in the left view not that not that uh, in the left properties palette in the under underlay option you have the range base underlay range base ah, okay okay just select that and change it to pcc you okay. can apply okay that's it this is the oh, floor are, plan. okay for a, in order to create a new uh, roof we are going to go to underlay and we need to select the um, Okay, then only you different. can okay. Yeah, okay then only you can see the uh, materials that you okay, have been added is, to that add level. everything okay 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 you are uh, you are just uh, looking on the rb level it's been the top of the every other level le uh, levels okay okay now if you want to see that, where i want to uh, uh, draw that and draw come to the architecture yeah. tab and select the roof by four print Okay, roof by footprint and select the line option in the draw okay just okay. select line and uh, change uh, the offset value here here okay. change the offset value up to a uh, hundred or something hundred okay okay and just draw the roof that you wanted whether i should uh, draw like this end to end okay end to end uh, not up to here there it's been the inner side and just draw from the uh, left to right okay just draw from left to right left to right ah uh. Yeah, select the line option. Then only you can draw that. So uh, create the offset. Create the offset distance. Sir, create the offset distance. Just give the offset distance. Yeah, I've given right. Uh, it's not given. It's been zero. Okay. Okay. First, you want to select the line, and then you want to give the offset distance. Okay. okay. And draw from uh, left to right. Yeah. Okay, and just click on the finish. Okay, just come to the 3D view. Okay, we have been created the roof. But uh, just know what I am saying is. Okay, order... I'll just show, I'll just show oh. you this way. Okay, I'll just share my screen. Uh, in order to create the next level, uh, next floor, uh, we need okay. a bottom slab and then we need to create a wall and then we need to proceed, right? Uh, yeah. So that that sequence of work, uh, because yesterday I have a doubt actually, uh, whether okay. to uh, go from, after completing the wall, we need to go to uh, lintel bottom and lintel top, I think. So there I have a doubt whether to choose lintel bottom or lintel top first. You want to choose the roof bottom and create the uh, this uh, uh, roof, okay. And after that, you want to create another level, okay. 
above that you want to create another level like or uh, another roof bottom okay i'll just show you okay i'll just show you show you just wait okay, i'm just creating another level from here just taking to here and giving the name as roof bottom of first floor okay one of the name would okay and i'm just changing this elevation like uh, up to 2800 okay that's it and then change the elevation also okay and i'm just coming to the roof bottom and i'm just creating the roof okay i'm just adding the value of uh, no uh, just to if if you want to add another floor then you don't need to create this roof right if you want to add another floor you want to uh, uh, what do we need you, to you uh, must you must uh, create the roof okay then only you can add the level okay no. if you don't uh, add any uh, roof then there is no uh, existence of uh, anything okay yeah understood that uh, in order to do that why do we need to go to roof uh, we can select some uh, uh, else we, we can select the offset as zero right uh, otherwise it will project on the outside okay the roof must be projected to the outside it's no, been no, like I, the, uh, see, uh, the floor is there, and the floor is there, and there is a slab in the floor. Yes, that the slab is there. Yes, that slab is there. Why we need to project that uh, slab, actually? Actually, we need to project a slab project. We need to project a slab. I don't know what's uh, necessary for I am just uh, I am just an electrical engineer I don't know anything about the civil okay oh, okay 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 but uh, it's not logical logical correct I don't know but uh, why, how do you end up doing this uh, being electrical engineer uh, I just studied this or software so that okay 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 just here fine fine uh, okay that's why i have a doubt uh. okay after doing this roof uh, again we need to go to walls uh, underlay yeah. uh, plinth and we need to select the walls right okay so i've been added the floor okay uh, mm. you can see that in the 3d view i'm just created the roof okay oh, and change okay. the roof thickness to like 200 or uh, something we can come into the edit type and the default thickness is 510 okay 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 so i'm just deleting these levels okay i'm just giving to 180 or something it's been total 200 okay the length has been uh given to 200 Okay, and above that, I'm just creating, I'm just coming to the next level. Okay, the RB1F. Or I'm just coming to the rooftop. You can see that this is the rooftop. Okay, and you can change the uh, underlay option and you can select the wall. Okay, and you can select the wall type. I'm just selecting it. And you, you want to change the base constraint to rooftop, okay. And the top constraint to RB1F. And I'm just drawing the wall from here uh, like this. One more thing, one more thing. Just to, uh, while okay. selecting the base constraint and top constraint, constraint um, okay. the purpose of doing is this is to uh, get connected connection, right? From yeah. bottom to top. From bottom to top. If uh, I'm if I'm selecting the wall, then uh, the wall should be connected from base constraint to top constraint. Top constraint. Okay. Okay. Just adding here. 
Okay. Yeah, today we said. And I'm just coming to the okay. review. Okay. And you can see that that's it, like this. Okay. This is the second floor. And you can add the stairs also. We have the stair option here. In the architectural tab. Okay. Like the same, come to the print the top and select the stair. Okay. And give the base and top floor. Okay. Yeah. Into okay. the roof bottom. I'm just selecting to uh, roof top. Okay. I'm just adding a Okay, I'm just added like this. Yeah, yeah, I still come to me now. Okay. And uh, this is the. Okay. And I'm just selecting this uh, roof plan. Okay. And coming to the edit footprint. Okay. Okay. And so I'm just uh, removing this area. Okay. I'm just selecting the. Uh, rectangular option okay and i'm just remo uh, uh, again selecting a drawing a uh, rectangular here okay oh, okay and i'm just finishing it and you can see that it's been uh how do you removed. delete the option how do you delete uh, remove okay you can see that it's been removed mm -hmm. i think just uh select the uh roof and select the edit roof uh, roof okay okay and you just wanted to uh, draw a rectangle where okay. you wanted to remove the roof. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm asking. Uh, once we select it, we don't need to include any command or anything like to remove. No, you don't want to do anything. Okay. Oh, just, just to select just draw the rectangle and just finish it. Finish it. Okay. So you can see that this is the roof and we have been uh, excluded this area from the roof. Okay. Okay. That's it in the 3D view. Okay, like this. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, just now. Okay. Mm. Is there any doubts? Or any issues? No, I think no doubts. We'll ask you when when I'm uh, okay. practicing. If you have anything, uh, just ask me, okay. Okay, and okay. Okay, mm, thank you for the session. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for. Uh...